contractions. You know, in English, we have contractions like he is not going, he isn't, right? And we use an apostrophe or I will not go, I won't. And in English, contractions are optional. But in Spanish, our contractions are required. You have to use them. But what's the nice part about contractions in Spanish? Is there are only two of them. One two. So what do you need to know? Well, you need to know that they are required and that there are only two of them. So we have al and del. So al is whenever we have a plus l is the, we will get al. So if I'm writing a sentence or talking, and I say, I am going to the so we have voy a el supermercado, this automatically forms the contraction al. Could I leave it as a plus l? No, because it is required. So when you see a plus l, you change it to al. Okay. Um, but be careful. This l is not he. We are only talking about the. A plus l. Okay, well let me look at another one. A uh, plus the, wait, that's not L, so no, I don't have to do anything. It's only when I have A uh, plus L, we get AL. Okay, so that's contraction number one. Contraction number two is DEL. I know, it's not as exciting as AL, but this one is DE plus L of plus the. All right, well, what, I, what do I want to write for this one? I could say something like... They're from the country. All right, so I have de plus l. And in Spanish, our contractions are required. We have to form the contraction. And so we will change this to del. Son del campo. Done. That's all there is to it. If English were as easy as Spanish, oh, man, how good would life be? All right, let's try one more. We are from the Dominican Republic. All right, do I need a contraction right here? No, because it's only when I have de plus l that I automatically get del. So contractions, can I leave them alone? No. If you see these two, you have to make the contraction out of it. Okay, there you go. Try it. Let me know. Suerte.